Copernicus is the most ambitious Earth observation program to date. It is not sufficient to monitor the evolution of the ice cap or to monitor the sea level rise during five years and then stop. We really need to monitor those things over a very long time period. Headed by the European Commission in partnership with the European Space Agency, Copernicus gathers Earth data from space, air and ground stations and channels it into a wide range of support services. At its heart is the Sentinel family of satellites. Each Sentinel has a specific duty. Sentinel-1 is more specifically tailored to emergency response. Sentinel-2 is focused on monitoring of the land. Sentinel-3, together with Sentinel-6, is focused on the monitoring of the ocean and waters. Sentinel-4, together with Sentinel-5, is specially tailored to the monitoring of the atmosphere. There are two satellites for each Sentinel mission, A and B, flying in the same orbit. Sentinel-1's highly developed radar instruments see through clouds and rain during day and night. Applications from Sentinel-1 include identifying minute changes in volcanic activity or potential flooding. So what you can see here on the screen is the first ever Sentinel-1 derived flood map. Um, it was actually used by the Department of Water Affairs of Namibia for the monthly flood reporting and most importantly uh, this kind of data is used uh, to plan mitigation measures. Sentinel-2, with its single multi-spectral instrument, provides a new perspective on land and vegetation. It will allow us to monitor the Earth in different spectral bands every five days, continuously and systematically. Data from Sentinel-2 serves agriculture, forestry, disaster control and humanitarian relief. Sentinel-3 will provide thorough and detailed mapping of the oceans. The oceans play a crucial role in the Earth's heating and cooling system. Ocean temperatures have been increasing, but not so much in the last couple of years. And one of the uh, possibilities is that more heat has gone deeper into the ocean. The oceans also contain more life than anywhere else, including plankton, which have a vital role in regulating the Earth's atmosphere and climate. You can think of them as the ocean analogue of the canary in the coal mine. They will respond very, very rapidly to any change. Sentinel-4 will monitor the atmosphere from a geostationary orbit, while Sentinel-5 will monitor the atmosphere from a polar orbit. Sentinel-6 will use a radar altimeter to measure global sea surface level. All the data collected by Copernicus and the Sentinel satellites is provided free of charge to encourage maximum use. Policymakers, for example, require high quality scientific data. A subtle shift may be of vital importance. Very often it's just one number or a few numbers, but these numbers help decision makers uh, to better understand how Europe is changing, how our planet is actually changing. And uh, we believe also that uh, this Made in Europe uh, data is also an article on which we can build a lot of business development. Copernicus and the Sentinels can fill crucial gaps in current services. About 90% of the worldwide uh, good traffic goes by ship. And we don't have, at present, a global monitoring system to monitor uh, tr ship traffic. Uh, just for the Copernicus, we have 14 satellites uh, at the moment under development, covering all aspects of environmental uh, monitoring, from ice to land to ocean to atmosphere. Data is available 24-7, 365 days a year, and we're going to do this for the next 15 years. This is a quantum leap in terms of the amount of information that we can bring to bear on the problems that society faces today.